in this one, again, we have a radical, so we know we want to rationalize these radicals. So to evaluate this limit, the first thing I'm going to do is I know that direct substitution doesn't work. I always want to check that. And then I'm going to rationalize the radical, so I'm going to multiply by the square root of 2 plus x plus the square root of 2. And whatever I do in the denominator, I have to make sure I do in the numerator. Or sorry, did not numerator I have to do in the denominator. Everybody follow me with that. We want to make sure we rationalize both radicals, so you got to make sure you include both of them. All right, and again, you're trying to, basically what you're trying to do is create a difference of two squares in each case. All right, so once we go ahead and complete that, um, square root of 2 plus x times square root of 2 plus x. Again, remember, the difference of two squares, we only need to multiply the first and the last two terms. So that's going to give me a 2 plus x. And then this is going to be a minus. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is going to be the square root of 4, which is just 2 all over x times the square root of 2 plus x plus the square root of 2. Well, the 2's subtract, right? The x's divide. So now we're left with 1 over square root of 2 plus x plus the square root of 2. Now I can directly substitute. And when I directly substitute, I have the square root of 2 plus 0 plus the square root of 2. So square root of 2 plus the square root of 2 is going to be 2 square root of 2. Okay. And there you go. Any questions? Sound good.